Hi children. Now I am going to tell a story of two friends. Listen carefully. Priya and Ramya are best friends. So it was winter season, and they both decided to grow some rose plants. So what did they do? Well, Priya went and brought some seeds to grow rose plants. Whereas Ramya went and brought one rose plant to make more plants out. Well, let's see what happened next. After some days, there were five plants in Priya's garden, but in Ramya's garden there were ten plants. At the same time, Priya got five plants, where Ramya got ten plants. How is it possible? Let's find out. Priya asked Ramya. Ramya said, "Where does she grow so many rose plants from one rose plant? With the help of vegetative propagation." Rose plant grow from stem cutting. In stem cutting, a stem is cut into smaller pieces. These pieces are planted in the soil. After a few days, each piece grows into a new plant. Children, what is vegetative propagation? Now let's learn about vegetative propagation. The growing of a new plant from any part of the mother plant is called vegetative propagation. Let us learn about the ways through which vegetative propagation takes place. Let's learn about roots. Plants such as sweet potato, beetroot, dahlia grow from the roots of their mother plants. If you do not take out a sweet potato from the soil, its root will grow into new plants. The swollen root of a sweet potato is called tuber. Now let's learn about stems. Plants like strawberry, grass, and mint grow from their stems. Children, this is a strawberry plant. A strawberry plant gives rise to stems that grow horizontally 